welcome back to another episode of Songdong DIY. So in our first video, we made this flower pop-up card. And in our second video, we made this waterfall card that opens like this. If you haven't seen either of those, you can go look at our channel and watch those if you'd like to. For today's video, we are going to be making the twist and pop-up card. So if you hold it like this and open it, it'll twist and pop up open like that. It looks really complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So first we'll get through the materials and then we'll get started on making the card. Okay, so for today's materials, it's actually pretty simple. We just need a few pieces of paper. So for your paper, you are going to need two of this color, two A4 size pieces of paper of this color. So I've chosen to do green today. So the first piece you're going to need, you're going to take the full A4 paper and cut it so that the, it is 10 centimeters wide. So this is the full length of an A4 paper and this is 10 centimeters. So you cut that off. Then the next part of it, you are going to cut this to nine centimeters wide and 26 centimeters long. So nine centimeters wide by 26 centimeters long. Then that is probably going to use your full A4 paper. So you're going to need one more paper to cut this piece out. This piece is going to be nine centimeters wide again and 20 centimeters long, 20. So just a little bit shorter. That's all you need for that color. Now this next part is optional. You do not have to do it, but I think it looks a little better if you do this. So this, if you look in our example, these little white pieces of paper, like I said, you don't have to do those white pieces of paper. You can leave it blank and draw or add pictures directly onto the yellow here or the green here. That is okay. I just think the white makes it pop a little more. It looks a little nicer. So if you want to do these white pieces of paper, these are five 0.5 centimeters by eight centimeters. So eight centimeters by five and a half centimeters. So that's all you need for your papers. The next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors or your knife to cut all of this with and your adhesives. So as usual, I've got my glue and my tape. You can use either one and a ruler. A ruler is going to be really important for this one because you have to do a lot of marking down on your paper. You also need a pencil to do all of that writing with. So that is all of our materials. Let's get started. Okay, so now that we know all of our materials, we're going to get started on making this card. So the first piece you're going to use is this piece right here, the 20 centimeters by 9 centimeters piece. So we can move these other ones off to the side. Now this piece is very important. This is what makes the whole card move. So we're going to start working on this. The first thing you're going to do is fold it in half. So you're going to take this end and fold it over to this end. Okay, great. So you fold it in half like this. Now the next step, which you're going to want to do is you're going to take your ruler and you are going to measure five and a half centimeters from the edge down. And you want to do this on all four sides. You're going to measure it and with your pencil, you're going to mark that spot. Okay, so now we've got our measurement on all four corners, five and a half centimeters from the edge. So the next step, the next thing you want to do is you're going to fold an X. So your X is going to go from here to here and then here to here. So a secret little trick that I have for you is you want to take your ruler and you want to put it across the page like this so that it's on those points that we just measured. And this is going to give you the most straight line possible. You know, hold the ruler down really hard and lift the paper and with your fingers, you're just going to push up the paper against the ruler. And that way you get a nice straight line from those two points. So I'll do that on both ends. A 
It's important that you hold your ruler down really firmly because if it moves, your line will also move and you won't have the right spot for your X. So now, as you can see, we've got this nice X shape on here. Now I'm going to erase the marks that I just made. And this is because later on you might be able to see them and I just think it looks a little neater if you erase them at this point. Okay, great. So now we have our X and we have our middle fold. So the next thing you need to do is fold the whole paper. It's a little complicated. You're gonna fold it like this. So you wanna take these two ends and push them into the middle and then squish it down. So you're gonna be left with this shape with the triangle on top. It kinda looks like a little house. So you want to have your little house shaped piece like this. And here's where you're gonna see how well you folded it because this one you want to line up as close as possible. Mine's not quite perfect, it's kind of a little off center. So I'm actually going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit so that it lines up perfectly. You don't have to do this, I just like to make sure it's really, really neat. If there's a huge, huge difference in it, you might want to cut the piece again and refold it. You don't want a very big difference between it. Great, so that's our most important moving piece. The next thing we're going to move to is this piece. So it's our 26 by 9 centimeters piece. So for this one, the first step, you're going to fold it in half this way. So from top to bottom, just connect up those corners and squish it down. Great. So this piece was originally how long is 26 centimeters. So now we've folded it in half and it's 13 centimeters, right? So we want to find 6.5 centimeters. So that is halfway through. So we're gonna fold it in half again. But instead of taking the whole thing and folding it in half, you wanna just take this top part here and you wanna fold that to the middle and squish it down. And then you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So fold this back to the middle. And the reason we fold those separately is because we want to make this nice M shape that this has, or W, M or W. But you want this shape, so you don't want all of the folds going one way or another. You want them to make two little mountains like this. Great, so now we've got these pieces ready. And now we get to put them all together to make the magic happen. So you're going to take your base piece, the last big piece, and you're going to once again fold this in half like this. Okay, so now that we've folded this in half, I'm going to open it back up and we need to find the very center of the paper. So you're going to take your ruler again. And remember this is 10 centimeters wide. So the center halfway would be five centimeters. So we're gonna take our pencil, we're gonna line this up and we're gonna just mark right here in the middle where five centimeters is. Okay, so now we know where our center piece is. So we're gonna take our little house shaped piece and you're gonna put it right there on the center. So you want the point of the little house to be right at the center of the design. Now I'm gonna take my glue, and this is really important, where you put your glue is going to make it either work or not work. So be very careful, do not put glue anywhere but where I tell you to. So you can take your glue and only on this triangle here, you're gonna put glue all over it. So I'm actually gonna move it off of there, so just in case I get messy, I don't get glue on this piece. So you put glue all over that triangle. You wipe it up with your finger if you get a little messy. Now, if you end up like I just did, if you clean up some glue with a finger, remember which finger you did and try not to touch any other pieces with that finger because otherwise you'll start putting glue everywhere. So I put it on this finger, so I'm gonna try not to touch anything with that finger. So we're gonna put this here in the middle. We're gonna line it up right at that point that we marked earlier. And then you're just going to close the book and squeeze it down. 
So now it's stuck to that side, so we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put the glue all on this triangle here. And be careful to not get it on any other part of the book. Close that up. Okay. So now when you open it, you see that this part pops out because it's stuck here on the triangles, but it's not stuck inside here. So that's how you get it to do that opening motion. But it's still not twisting and we are making a twist card. So that is going to be how we use this piece. So the next thing we want to do is we want to find that middle again. So you're going to put your ruler right here and you're going to find that five centimeter spot again. And with your pencil, you're going to make a little mark so that you can find it. And you're going to do this on both sides. That way you can make sure it's really lined up correctly. Okay, so I found my middle piece. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put this W-shaped piece on there. Now you want to put it so that the there's like a mountain in the middle, not like this. You don't want an M, you want a W. So you want to line up this middle fold with those two spots that we just marked and then close the other sides like this. So I'm going to show you that one more time. You've got the fold up like this where the mountain is and you want to put that right where those two marks are so right there in that middle spot and close the sides like a book so this is really important this is where your piece is either going to do a really cool magic trick or it's just not going to work so please be very careful you want to only put glue in the spots that i tell you so we're going to on this side we're going to find this crease right here, this fold, and we're going to put glue above the crease. Only above. Do not put it below the crease. And then we are going to close this flap right over that glue that we just put and squish it down really hard. Now, we are going to put glue on this side. We are only going to do it below the crease. So on this side, we did above the crease, this side below the crease. And there we go. Because we did it on opposite sides, that is how it's going to twist because it's pulling from different ways. So it's going to twist like this. Kind of like if you're rolling a, a wheel or a tire, you pull from different ways. I'm pulling down with the side and up with the side so it spins, right? That's how we're going to get the twist motion by pulling from different sides. So now I'm going to just close it all up so it's nice and squished. And there you go. That's how you're going to get it to pop up like that. Great. So now like I said, this next step is optional. You don't have to do it, but I like to add these little white panels on here because I think it makes it look a little bit neater. So for this step, I'm going to use uh, my double-sided tape, which I already put on there. You can use the glue if you want to. I just think the double-sided tape is a little bit neater. And I have my bucket of these. <laughs> okay, great. So for this, we want to make sure it is centered. These pieces are exactly one centimeter smaller in both directions. So we want to measure a half a centimeter from the edge so we know exactly where to put it. So I'm going to measure out those spots and then we will add our pieces. I'm going to do all this in fast forward because it takes a little bit of time. Okay.
So that is it. That is how we finish up our whole pop-up. So I will show you one more time how this works. So close it all up. And if you grab it from the two ends, it'll twist and pop up like this. So you have kind of two ways of opening it. You can open it like this and you can write across like something like L-O-V-E. You could write something across of it like that. Or you could open up like this and you could have something coming down ways. This is a really great pop-up to put pictures in if you want to put like a series of photos like photo booth pictures you can put them down like this it looks really cool like that or you can do something like a comic book strip if you have it like this a little comic going across so have a lot of fun with making this one we look forward to seeing what your designs are if you go to our home page you can send us your pictures there and we will post them for everybody to see so thank you very much for joining us today and we will see you again next time bye bye